A county in Northern Virginia is ground zero for a growing number of national debates on controversial school policies. And now the fate of the Loudoun County Public School teacher's job remains unclear. The school is appealing a judge's order to reinstate Tanner Cross. Cross was put on administrative leave after telling the school board he will not address children by preferred pronouns because it's against his religion. Tanner is back to work for now following a judge's ruling that he was exercising his right to free speech. I had a chance to check in with Tanner and his attorney, Logan Spina, from the Alliance Defending Freedom. You should resume your duties at school immediately, and you have. And now Loudoun County Public Schools is appealing that decision to temporarily reinstate you. Are you surprised they're moving ahead? Um, I'm not surprised um, that they, they feel that, that they respectfully disagree with the judge's uh, decision. And but we also feel like um, you know the First Amendment's on our side, and uh, the Supreme Court will um, back our circuit court here. You know, Tanner, you're an elementary phys ed teacher. What has all this media attention been like in school for you and your very young students since you've been back? Um, it's pretty much just been normal since I've been back. You know, we're playing t-ball, playing kickball. We're having a blast uh, with the kids. Uh, it's pretty much back to normal. You know, being that your students are so young, has the preferred pronoun issue you know, even come up with them before you spoke to the school board, you know, be it from a student who has asked you to use one or from a parent asking you to refer to their child in a certain way? No, I, I haven't experienced a parent asking me to call a child a specific pronoun or uh, a student uh, asked me to call them a specific pronoun. So this has never even come up before, even mm -hmm. though the school board is, is, you know, really pursuing this hard. Yeah, correct. Logan, there are some theories as to why LCPS is fighting you guys so hard on this issue and Tanner staying in school. Right now, there's only a temporary injunction, including talk the school system really wants this case to play out in higher courts. Is this issue really about Tanner causing disruption, do you think, or is this something about something else? It's certainly not about Tanner causing disruption because Tanner's speech did not cause any disruption. And the Loudoun County Circuit Court did an excellent job in recognizing that. Whatever their motive might be in appealing, I'm not going to speculate as to that, but the simple fact is this. The Loudoun County Circuit Court did an excellent job applying well-settled principles of law to the facts in this case, and we're confident that if the Virginia Supreme Court chooses to review this case, it will ultimately uphold the ruling of the Circuit Court. You know, Tanner, before you spoke to the school board, you said you were speaking out because God comes first, as well as exercising, as we've discussed, your First Amendment rights. To you as a Christian, what is at stake here? Um, I, like I said, and like you said, Tara, uh, I, I serve God first. I, I don't worry about outcomes. Um, I, I just stand firm on God's word, and I'm just happy to be back, um, you know, doing what I do best, and, and that's, uh, you know, making kids healthier through physical activity and having fun. Yeah, Tanner, all this attention, positive and negative, certainly has got to have an impact on your family. How are you guys getting through this? Um, it's It's been stressful, but we pray a lot, and we have a lot of support and love coming from the community, from the country, and from some of my students' parents that support us and support the right to speak freely. Tanner Cross and Logan Spina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Tara. Thank you.